Good morning! Today we will be straying away from our normal core style marching content and diving headfirst into the world of drum set. We will be watching some covers from the drum solo of Hot for Teacher by Van Halen, and we're gonna find out who plays it the best. So first thing you should know about this drum solo is that everybody plays it wrong. Every single one of these drum covers we're gonna watch, no one plays it true to the, what the recording is. Even Alex Van Halen himself does not play this drum solo correctly at a live show. What? How's the guy who wrote the part play it wrong? Explain this to me. Okay, I will. But first, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. Mask Guy face reveal at 100,000 subscribers. And also, click that like button. So why the heck can't anyone figure out how to play this exactly as it is in the recording? Well, let's take a look at it here. So the first thing we got is a bunch of hertas, which is two 32nd notes followed by two 16th notes, and hertas are my favorite hybrid rudiment ever. I literally wrote two entire songs just about hertas. So clearly, I find this drum solo here very appealing. Wait a minute, wait a minute, that's the wrong hertas song. Here, this one, this one right here. Now something tricky about these particular hertas is that some of them, the rhythms are slurred quite drastically. And this was done intentionally because this drum solo at the beginning here was meant to mimic the sound of a motorcycle. Okay, mid-editing commentary here. So this is the actual sound that this motorcycle makes and I want this hertz bike, okay? I wanna hear hertz every time I'm at a stoplight. So compose a comment if you think I should buy the Harley Davidson Shovelhead. Okay, now we got these double, double kick drums, <laughs> four kick drums. And a lot of people seem to think that one of these is on the floor tom and one of them is on the kick drum and that is incorrect, all right? It says it right here in this article that four bass drums were used in order to make this motorcycle sound effect. It's gotta be true, it's right here in the article. So how do you play both of these parts at the same time on four kick drums? You don't, it's impossible. You gotta play one part and then play the other part and then layer the two together. So unless you have more than one drummer or if you're using editing skills to put this together, then it, yeah, it's gonna be impossible to do this. So the best possible solution is to most likely play one of these parts on the floor tom and the other one on the kick drum. But even that won't exactly be possible. And we're gonna see why right here. So these notes on the high tom-tom come in, and if you're playing the hertz part on the low tom-tom, you're not gonna be able to play both of those parts, all of the notes. You're gonna have to leave some of the hertz out in order to get all of the high tom parts. However, the only possible way to play all of the notes in this is to play the hertz part on the kick drum, the shuffle 16th note bass part on the floor tom, and play the high tom part because the shuffle 16th can be played with one hand and the high tom-tom part can also be played with one hand. That's it's gonna be extremely difficult to play those two things together and even more extremely difficult to also play the hurt part on the bass drum. But it is possible, technically. But even if someone spends like hours and hours and days and months and years figuring that out, it's still not correct to what the recording is because the recording has four kick drums, which is not possible unless you're an octopus. And then of course we get to the main groove, which is also part of the drum solo. This is just like a double bass shuffle. So the trickiest part of this double bass shuffle is the placement of the ride bell notes. Now in order to get that true metal shuffle, you're gonna want the double note, the first note to be on the downbeat. Common error would be to move those two notes over so that you get this like jazzy <laughs> sort of feel where the first note is before the downbeat and the second note's on the downbeat, which that's not what the part is. This will be interesting to watch these drum covers because well, the beginning bunch of bars is impossible to play. So we'll see how people do it, what notes they leave out, what they keep in, and how true they can keep it to the original. Okay, first up we have a six year old drummer. Holy crap.
Wow, that was freaking fantastic. Nice job there. This dude is definitely way better than I was when I was six years old. I mean, I didn't play drums till I was ten, but well, that's besides the point. But being six does not get him out of being critiqued. I think while his tempo was actually fairly consistent overall, he had a little bit of a issue getting out of the hurt to part into the shuffle. His high tom accents were not quite in the right spot as where it was in the original song, but let's keep in mind that he's freaking six. How does that make you feel, adult drummers that struggle to figure out this part? By the way, this video was from 2013, so you're probably all wondering how good this kid is now if he was that good when he was six. Well, we're gonna find out later because he made another cover of this video posted this year. And we'll get to that towards the end of the video. So for now, we're gonna move on. We have a 13 year old female drummer. Alright, very nice, very nice. I definitely appreciate the green screen editing in the background. That's pretty epic. Now, I'm not exactly sure if what we're hearing is her playing or if that is just the original soundtrack. <laughs> I guess I'll find out when I upload this and if it gets copyright claimed. Well, if it's randomly cutting in and out, then that means it got copyright claimed and I had to take some parts out. But either way, I can tell she knows the part. Okay, she's playing the hurt to part on the floor tom and the shuffle bass on the double bass drum. She's getting all the high tom accents in there. I thought it was very true to the original. Next video, we have this dude who does not have his age in the title. Oh, you should put your age in the title. You might get more views if you did that. So we're just gonna call him guy number one. Nice job there. I thought his tempo control was extremely, extremely good. Yeah, he played the hurt part on the floor tom, shuffle bass on the kick drum. I thought he got all the accents in the perfect place on the high tom. I also enjoyed how he incorporated the mid tom in there. That was interesting. I think it's only the high tom in the recording. I'm pretty sure, but that was pretty cool how he incorporated all of his other drums. Let's check out the next video. Uh, we will call this guy number two. Okay, very, very interesting there. So he is using some electronic drum pads in there. I like the sound of his, you know, his floor tom drum pad, but <laughs> the kick drum drum pad, I thought that was a really high pitched tom tom. But I would definitely have put the lower drum on the kick drum if it was me, but all right, whatever. Moving past that, I thought he did a pretty good job staying true to the original song. He had the high tom he was playing all with one hand and then he switched the, the hurt to part just to one hand. Also on his uh, shuffle drum set beat at the end, he made it jazzy. All right, moving on here, we have another female drummer. Uh, she does not have her age in the title. All right, well, you're just gonna be female drummer number two. Oh, whoa! She's actually playing the hurt to part with her feet. Oh, that makes it way, way more difficult. Those hurts with the feet are no joke, people. Cool, very, very nice, very nice. So she ended up switching, so she started out with the Hertz's on the feet and then kind of flipped that when the other Tom came in. She played the shuffle bass on the feet and then some of the Hertz apart on the Tom. Again, she had her hands separated, so you can't really play the Hertz's, like all the notes when you're doing that. And she had that jazz metal beat going, but it's okay. I thought you did a very, very nice job there. Next video, this will be guy number three.
right, okay, nice job there. So he actually tried to do all of the hurt to notes by doing crossovers on the tom. I thought that was pretty cool. But his metal beat at the end was a jazzy metal beat, and that's not exactly what we want in this. Moving on, here we got, okay, we got guy number four. This guy is doing a live show, wow. Yeah, pretty nice there. Definitely really good tempo maintenance. I got excited once again because he played the hurt part with his feet. But just like the other person, they switched it to the regular shuffle beat when the other part came in. But yeah, that was definitely very energetic and exciting. And I'm sure the having a live audience there gives him that extra energy he needs to get through it. So nice job there, guy number four. Okay, in the last video we are reacting to, as promised, we have the six-year-old drummer grown up. And he's now 13 years old. So let's see how much he improved. But I can't. Whoa there, oh man. Yeah, good job there, dude. Definitely quite a whole lot of improvement in seven years. I can tell you've been working at it. So once again, he kept his hands apart for all that, but he was doing a double sticking on the floor tom, which added most of the notes in the herta, but he couldn't get all of them in there. I thought he did a good job with tempo maintenance, and he nailed the metal shuffle, getting it right on the downbeat. Nice job there, six-year-old that became 13 years old. Okay, so now, as promised, I am gonna show myself playing the Hot For Teacher drum solo. And I did a bit of editing to try to get it exactly as it sounds in the recording. So here we go. so much for watching the video, but compose a comment below and let me know who you thought played this the best. Was it the six-year-old kid? The 13-year-old girl? Guy number one? Guy number two? Girl number two? Guy number three? Guy number four? Or six-year-old grown up to be 13? Or was it 31-year-old? <laughs> oh man. My personal favorite was probably guy number one. I thought he did a real good job holding down that tempo the whole way through and was very true to the original, you know, without doing all the editing work that I did. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that liberty bell and click that like button. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt such as this one. I will leave that link in the description. And have a good morning. <laughs>